But why why is it so so much easier to clean Chihuahua poo, Doug? Because it's smaller and it's harder than regular poop. There you go. It comes out as like a day old poop when it comes out of their butts. It's just done. But remember the time the color turning was here and somebody <laughs> stepped in. Floor? Somebody stepped in. Air, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I like how what? subconsciously you think of Poop and Eric. That's great, Doug. Uh, so this is our studio. Lavish Studio, Soft Drive Records headquarters. Uh, this is the lounge. Also the meeting room where we have our board meetings when we're talking about big label business, man. And then you come in here and this is the uh, this is the office. I mean, we have people all over here with their laptops. You don't need office anymore, but this is like technically the office. Eric sits there, watches a lot of skate videos. Carly sits there and works really hard all day long. And then in here is the control room. Uh, this is where all the magic happens in here. This is where Scott usually sits and sings these days. A lot of the solo record, he sat there and sang. And then... Uh, Ashtray. That's his ash special handmade artisan ashtray made by John Mooney, gl glass blower in Venice. Hmm. That's where Adam Adam sits there in front of the soft drive sign and edits video. This is where we rehearse for the Scott Weiland tours, and uh, we've had you know everybody set up in there you can imagine. We've had the Velvet Revolver set up in there, all the bands that we worked with, the Scott solo bands, just tons and tons of people have been through here. Some of them famous, some of them soon to be famous. Some of them not famous at all. I actually haven't watched that movie because I hate movies about like music. I know. It's, it's so cheesy so too. Autumn Rush, I think? August, August Rush. August, August, August Rush. Rush. Cheesiest movie it's I've ever kind seen. Of, it's kind of like Mr. Franklin's Opus. Remember that movie with, oh, with Dreyfus? Mr. Holland. No, Mr. Holland's Opus. Mr. Holland's Opus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Mr. Holland's anus. <laughs> what? <laughs> It's you know it's two letters off opus anus a n o p a o p a n right I mean I get yeah. I think it's naturally that's where anus. your mind goes <laughs> for the anus <laughs> mind goes for the anus. my mind doesn't go to the anus I'm sorry Carly it's okay what are we watching Selena 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 <laughs> Check out my ride. I love Hannah Montana. I just got this one. This is La Virgen Guadalupe. I got it at Ralph's for 50 cents. It's very nice. I had a car at a 95 Honda Passport. It was black, four door. It's pretty rad. I named it Bruce because it looked like a Bruce. I had an 84 Cadillac Eldorado, gray with red leather interiors. Very luxurious because everybody had a cigarette lighter. And I named her Stella. I don't know what I named him. I know it's a boy. Where'd you get some fine peanuts at? Oh, there's this guy. And he comes with a peanut cart. Well, no, not a peanut cart. But he comes with a truck. And there's fruit, vegetables, and pistachios, and peanuts. I think his name is Pedro. I don't remember. Fuck, I always forget his name. But he's this nice little Spanish guy. Always comes around. He's Ecuadorian. Ecuadorian? Mm hmm. Uh, well, anyway, it sells really cheap, high quality produce. Yeah. Nice berries. How orange they are. They're pretty orange. Orange, you glad I didn't say bananas? Ha <laughs> 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 Corn dogs, turkey legs. Your nostrils flared, and you know you're serious. Corn dogs. Shut your face, okay? Shut your face. <laughs> Do you remember when there was a point in time where we spent so much time together here that we actually began to look alike? Oh, yeah. We used to wear our hair back and both had our black glasses on. That would be me with my hairdo. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, we do thrifties, the OG's cold stuff. Oh, stone. thrifties? I do remember that. That's right. You guys would go get the ice cream. So we're pretty much related. Uh, 
I'm Doug Grion, and this is a little segment I like to call the hot seat, where I ask short, uncomfortable questions, and whoever's in the hot seat does their best to answer. Question number one, transvestites. Love them. I just think they're very fascinating creatures, humans, and uh, I want one as a best friend. They like to be called lady, though. Ma'am, miss. That's true. That's true. She. It's like Terry yeah. and Tracy. Obviously, you don't know a lot about Well, Terry's an ambiguous guys. name, right? Terry. Uh, Lauren. Lauren. I can't think of anyone. Uh, Bobby. Bobby. Girlfriends. Non-existent. I choose to not deal with women, unless they're men. Does that mean that you're gay? No, just means I don't have, I don't want to waste my time or money on a female. Mm. And keyword waste. How misogynistic is that? That's misogynistic. I know. Do you hate women? No, I love women. Mm. My hard drive's name misogyny. Is it true that you haven't had a girlfriend in three years? Just about. It's probably a little less. Mm. Two and a half, maybe two. Don't you get lonely? I got Myra and Myla. Who's that? My right hand and my left hand. <laughs> <laughs> In a few weeks here, we're going to start rehearsing for the next leg of the Scott Weiland solo band tour. That's right. Yeah, that's right. We're excited about that. Yeah. So we'll learn some more songs and, uh, and you know, try to uh, be even better and badder than, hopefully, um, uh, maybe not as bad and better <laughs> and better and better than before. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then uh, we're also excited because the new single is dropping any day now, right? Yes, it is. Yeah. And the new single is? Uh, well, we have two singles, actually. We have Paralysis uh, and uh, we have Crash. Crash going to college radio and uh, Paralysis uh, going out to uh, alternative and rock radio. So. Yeah, that's, that's exciting, huh? Here. We're kind of we're kind of breaking in the mold by doing two singles at one time, right? Yeah, yeah. We we figured that there's too many people out there that uh, want to hear music, and uh, we have a lot of music on the record, so we want as many songs uh, yeah. on the record to be heard. Yeah, definitely. There's a lot of songs on the record, and the more that we can get out there, the better. It, make, it definitely is makes me happy. Makes right? me happy too. Yeah. Cool. All right. Especially well, when I'm wearing my galoshes. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Cool. We recorded the last show of the Scott Weiland tour, February 7th, 2009, at the Henry Fonda Theater. And uh, what I'm working on today is I'm actually mixing that show. What I do is I go through the show and I mix song by song. The song I'm on right now is Killing Me Sweetly. So I'm going to play that for you so you can check it out. So this is live, Killing Me Sweetly. Henry Fonda Theater, Scott Weiland Band, February 7, 2009. i